What's going on guys? Welcome to a kind of a Im impromptu playing with the dick. I'm gonna be using OBS today, so sorry about the quality and the microphone and stuff. Uh, Westapo, our homie over um, at Westapo's channel, put out a challenge to beat his time in Renegade and to do a kind of a speed run of Renegade. I jinxed myself and couldn't get a better time, so I'm releasing this Kunio Kun run and I'm challenging anyone to beat it. But I also challenge any of you to beat my time. Even if you don't beat the time, just go ahead and submit it. It's all in good fun. I like Renegade. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. It's a uh, Technos game published by Taito in America. It's part of the Kuni Kun, Kun Kun games, like uh, Real City Ransom and all the sports games. But uh, this is the first game. It came out in uh, really early 80s in the arcade, even before Double Dragon. So this game actually influenced Double Dragon. Some people think it's the other way around. Double Dragon ripoff. But, uh... Arcade game's a little weird, I haven't played too much of that, it's pretty cool. Uh, he said you can play the US version or the Japanese version because he says there's no difference. You can check out Westopo's video somewhere in an annotation here, and this is a response to him. His time was 8 minutes, and he said beat his time, I think I can beat his time. I'm not going to go for the fastest run ever. I played this game over the last two days on, on a stream. Uh, first day was just getting familiar with it again. Second day, I was practicing some strategies, got my ass kicked, and then, you know, so today I think I can put it all together. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do a little commentary here just to make things interesting, if I can. So yeah, I'm just basically knocking people over the, the edges of the uh, subway there. Now, Wes said there's no difference between the U.S. version and the Famicom version, but come on, it clearly says... B E E R in the background there. Beer. It's got billboards for beer, so that's different. Uh, I'm sure it's strictly visual differences between the two versions. I think there's actually a pack of cigarettes in the uh, Japanese version. So uh, pick your poison, I guess. Whoa! Uh, this game's got weird controls. It's sort of like Double Dragon 2, that sort of left-right, depending on which way you're facing. You got a left attack and a right attack. Oh, got the quick kill on that guy. That was, uh, that was cool. I can do that <coughs> somewhat consistently. Um, sometimes it takes two knockdowns, or sometimes it's a total fail. But uh, like I was saying, sometimes uh, the old arcade games have the left and right attack, depending on which way you're facing. Uh, you can get used to it, but it, it does take a little time. Again, we're playing on difficulty level 1 here. I think this game actually has some replay value, surprisingly, if you play it on the other difficulties, because it is a lot harder. The first two levels don't really matter too much, but uh, this, the latter half of the game it gets a little tougher. I've always liked Renegade. Uh, you know, it's got some issues, but it's an it's a decent arcade port. Fucking waste. Uh, the arcade game's a little different. It's oh my god! It's got a uh, three buttons instead of two, so it's got a left attack, a right attack, and an actual jump button. So uh, playing it the other day for a minute was a little uh, confusing at first because I was like, oh my god! So I'm used to hitting both buttons to do the jump attack. Uh, I think there's five motorcycle guys. If you want to save some time, maybe kill the last one when he's on the you, like on the right of the screen. You can save a little bit of time from that animation, but uh, we're not really doing professional speedrun freaking world record attempts here. Uh, this part's pretty easy. All you do is just hit the button and knock the guy over. Uh, it can be kind of random, though. I've had this level go real quick and easy. Wow. And sometimes it takes a while. Um, here's really where you start to do the, the good... If you want to save time in this game, you need to learn this. Uh, I call it the running bitch slap. Uh, this move is uh, pretty, o pretty OP. So it's done by doing a running attack, which is... You hit forward, and then you hit forward again. The trickiest thing is, again, once you turn around, uh, your punch button's going to be the other... The way you're facing, so just keeping that in track. Uh, beating up some uh, Jackie or Nassis women now, uh, which is great. Uh, they're asking for it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, 
it's kind of actually weird the differences between uh, the Japanese and US version. If you watch watch Westapo's run, <laughs> Westapo, I know his name's Westapo, but come on. Anyway, if you watch uh, Westapo's run, uh, you can see the differences. Uh, there's still women in that game, but they don't have uh, this. I don't know. Um, I'm going to take a different path than Wes does here. If you go in the left room, you fight another gangle, gangle of uh, women. It's kind of an interesting room. But uh, I'm going to go for Kim here. Again, uh, Kim can be really tough. You might want to kick her once or twice and run away. Sometimes you can kick her three times and knock her down. But of course, I'm doing the running bitch slap. Oh, shit. And I just epically failed there. Oh, you motherfucking bitch. Yeah. We could have been done. Oh, you motherfucking bitch. So we probably lost a good seven seconds there. Damn it. Lost. Sometime. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's okay. I still think that's a faster route than the other room. If you can do the running bitch slap. Uh, this is one of the hardest screens in the game, no doubt. There's just so many of these guys, and, uh, they could be bitches. They can be punks. Uh, a good important thing is uh, sitting on people's faces and punching them out. Uh, once they're on the ground, uh, just go up to them and hold and press the down button, and you're uh, you're sit on them. Uh, when I had to relearn this game a couple days ago, it uh, I had forgotten how to do that. So the first time I rebeat the game, I was just jump kicking my way through it, and it, it it's hard on your thumb, and it takes a long time. It's a pain in the ass. Jesus Christ, dude! I fucking suck. It's really important to learn to sit on those guys and punch them out. Uh, again, I'm going to take the right path. Uh, I think Restopo took the left path, which I think just makes him have to do an extra room, so he lost some time there, too. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Again, I'm not doing uh, the order of these guys really the best way. Just kind of just doing it. If you take the wrong paths in this uh, this level, it gets really convoluted. It's crazy. There's actually one room where you fight three of these dudes. I mean, maybe I was playing on a harder difficulty when I played this the other day, but I couldn't beat them, man. It took like 12 it took like 12 hits to kill these guys. It was insane. This is bad. But uh, they're not too bad in here, so I don't know what was up with that. And again, it was a very convoluted path to get to, so... But, uh... Uh, this is the room where I could save the most time on. This is really bad. I mean, it's not too bad, and I'm, I'm almost about to die, actually, so... Rip run, but, uh... I ended up getting through it. But, uh, that, that's a room I could save a good... A lot of time on. Fuck. Uh, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Oh my god! Trouble with these motorcycle dudes today. The timing is pretty specific, but it's not that bad. So I don't know what happened there. So that's another place I could definitely save time on. Oops, I thought there was only two, which is three. And here's the final boss. He'll kill you in one hit if you let him shoot you. I should have just, uh, I, I should have just got him right into the, into the running bitch slap loop. Again, I'm just waiting for his health to get down to right, right there and then knock his lights out. Time. Time, I guess. What the fuck? Anyway, I'll shut up now. Okay, so, I mean, that wasn't that great of a run, but it was fun. Uh, it's, like, kind of the first time I got an okay run, so I'm going to let the first be the first. I'm in the same situation as Wes as I know I could do faster time, and uh, maybe I will try that. Uh, but, again, ring is not bad. I know it seems short, but uh, there's a lot of alternating paths if you take... Uh, the right path in that last level and some of it's really brutal i got in a one room yesterday i couldn't beat it it was nuts uh, and again uh this was on level difficulty one so uh you know a lot of people dismiss this game but uh it is challenging especially if you want to go to a uh, difficulty level two or three um where uh it's a little tougher so so this was uh the, the first level of difficulty but um 
uh, again, you know, it's a love it or hate it game, sort of. Most people don't like it, but, uh, I had fun playing it, so I thought it was a good challenge that, uh, Wes put out there, and, uh, yeah, cool. So, uh, thanks for watching another episode of Playing With The Dick, uh, impromptu, sort of Playing With The Dick. Um, and again, Wes is putting out an open challenge just for fun, so if you want to give Renegade a, the old go, that would be cool. Alright, guys, thanks.